Hello, this is Thomas with GN Technologies. For this quick video, we'll be showing off the Edis B205 Mini integrated with the rest of our USERPs in a cognitive radio application as before. The B205 Mini from Edis Research is a USB 3.0 attached transceiver that can target frequencies between 70 MHz and 6 GHz with up to 56 MHz of instantaneous bandwidth, among a host of other features, including a Spartan 6 FPGA from Xilinx. In short, or Mini, it's a whole lot of capabilities in something smaller than a deck of cards. Now, unlike the E310 from our previous demo, the B205 Mini requires the Red Hawk node and device to run on a host system, which then interacts with the USERP using the Edis UHD driver. So in that way, it's like the N210. However, the B205 Mini, among the other new devices, is new enough that the UHD driver that comes packaged with the CentOS 6 RPM-based Red Hawk installation is simply too old to communicate with the B205 Mini, or the X310, etc. So we're just going to recompile and install everything from source with the upgraded dependencies. Just kidding. For those who just left us in a small rage blackout, I apologize. What I meant to say is that we, Geon Technologies, have handled system configuration and released it as a Docker image definition. You can download it today along with some simple launch scripts. All you're going to have to do is let the build happen and use the script to kick off a container for your usurp devices when you want to use each within a Red Hawk domain. That easy? Yeah. Here's some proof. This should look familiar. It's our cognitive radio application set up again to go hunting for Wi-Fi signals. Our focus this time is in watching the right Eclipse Red Hawk Explorer panel as we reallocate to the new settings. The N210 and B205 Mini are each in their own Docker containers, and the E310, of course, has its own OS, so Red Hawk is running locally. The host system also has Red Hawk installed, but it's an RPM based installation in CentOS. We're going to cycle through each of these using bandwidth as a way to single them out through allocation. So first up, the venerable N210 at 40 MHz, and an almost immediate detection of channel 6. We then switch over to the E310 at 56 MHz. The application never had a chance to invalidate the previous detection through a loss of signal. So we clear the detection and immediately it gets detected again using the E310. And finally, the B205 Mini at 16 MHz. With a quick clearing of the detection list, we get the channel 6 detection again. And consequently, it looks like there was a lull in activity long enough that we classified the next burst as a new signal. So that's the demo. You can pick up the Docker definitions and instructions off our website and GitHub repository. Also, we'll be at the Virginia Tech Wireless Symposium 2016 and demoing these systems on June 1st, Wednesday evening, between 5.30 and 8.30. So if you're in the area, it would be great to meet you. As always, I'm Thomas with Geon Technologies. Thanks for watching.